Freeloaders. I'm Mike Papa Foxtrot. And I'm 3T. Freeloaders is a regular look at what is or has been free to download from the PlayStation Network. We download the games and give them a play and see if they're worth the download, bandwidth and time. This time we're looking at Bulletstorm, a first-person shooter video game originally released in early 2011 that distinguishes itself with its own sense of style and crass humour, rewarding players with points for performing increasingly ludicrous and creative kills. Bulletstorm does not have any competitive multiplayer modes, preferring instead to include cooperative online play, as well as a score attack mode. Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition, which is what we're playing today, brings the critically acclaimed cult classic shooter to PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC in stunning ultra-high resolution. So, have you, or do you remember, or do you recall at all, playing Bulletstorm ever? No. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. No, I was like, because when, 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 uh, when we sort of look at the little burb and, and it says, you know, critically acclaimed classic, and I think, what? <laughs> I, I might be, there was a time where I was buying a lot of first person shooters. And if this goes back to mm. 2011, I can't swear that mm. I haven't played it, but I don't recognize any of this. So I, I'm pretty sure I haven't, um, unless it's been given a massive. Uh, Overhaul completely re, re change, you know, changing up the look of it for this um, this re release. Um, well, I have to say the the, me- the menus are gorgeous. At the oh, moment. beautiful! I, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, I know we're not here for the menus. I mean, it's not technically a menu at the moment. No. It, it, it's I've got it's, rocks and a city showing me floating camera. Yeah, some kind of. I, well, I would say it's a citadel of some kind. I know it's city citadel. I know, and there's birds everywhere, and there's nice shadow effects and. I mean, you know, very, very nice. And then the camera's going to come um, back and look at Wolverine and his mate in a second. Um, so, yeah. yeah. But, uh, no, uh, first-person shooter, it was not uh, not a difficult sell this month, I think, uh, for the, the choice of one to play. Um, on the hunt for a another, com- well, a co-op or multiplayer first-person shooter, always uh, willing to give them a try, I think. Mm, yeah, I think Friday the Thirteenth washed the bad taste of destiny from us, and uh, <laughs> let's just hope this brand of mouthwash is better. It, it um, does feel <laughs> it does feel mean, you know, at saying that destiny was was bad because it really wasn't bad. It just wasn't my cup of tea. I think it was it was just a bit dull. I think is the word. So let's hope this is a little bit more interesting. So are we ready to jump in? I don't really want to disturb the animation that's happening here. I'm enjoying it, but uh, I'm going to uh, somehow get the menu back by wiggling the yep and then um so are we going ready to, to start the campaign i think yeah we'll have a look at the campaign uh, just for structure and uh, we'll see how that goes then we'll probably take a, a break when we've had a little taste of the campaign and uh, we'll, we'll give you our thoughts while we play the multiplayer all right so uh, i'm gonna hit the uh, campaign select button in uh, three two one and i am hitting campaign now and new oh, game new game oh mature <laughs> language do you wish to play the game with mature language on yeah, yes. On. Blood and gore. Yes. yes. Normal. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> um, if this is going straight into the, uh, the the level, I will be very pleased. Hmm. It would make well, a nice well, change. One of the things that I I like is that uh, the uh, there is a multiplayer um, right on the start of the <laughs> menu. Uh, very. Uh, well, very, what very kind of game of, uh, wouldn't have that as an option straight away? I know what kind. What kind of game? What kind of what kind of <laughs> lunatic would make you play uh, forty-seven minutes of a campaign uh, before you can actually get to uh, <laughs> before you scramble get, get around in an RPG mode looking for somebody to tell you how to do it before you give up? I mean, mm. yeah, I take back the uh, and, 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 and Destiny's rubbish. Occasionally, and occasionally throwing yourself into outer bounds just so you die, just to relieve the monotony. <laughs> just for something to do. Uh, oh, I haven't pressed um, continue. Here we go. No, I've got to push continue now. There you go. <laughs> ah, right. So, lovely spaceship. We. Oh, nice vibration. Nice. Oh, yes. Spaceship painted up by a 12-year-old boy because they've got to put a skull on it. It's got a very Mass Effect look to it, though, isn't it? That's a nice... Um, Nice yeah. here. Okay, so at least, uh, here we go. This is the uh, because it's it prides itself on its sense of humour. This game, by all accounts, the, uh, the writer that I clearly wasn't just reading off the screen uh, that we did earlier on. We're going to go straight into target practice with this guy's bottle on his head. Which one of us is going to try and shoot him in the face instead? 
What? Is it me or is it slightly blurry? It is, I think, because we've just we've just taken a drink of something. Our character just took a swig to uh, quote help our aim. So <laughs> straight away we, we know the, the, the humour level that we're going for in this game. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I'm, I'm... I don't know if I can shoot him in the face at this range. I don't think it's fair. I'm half a billion. I'm being an R-ing. I wonder if the I'm game assuming will even let us do it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have a suspicion that it will. <laughs> well, I'm aiming on him. I, I suppose you are if you're about the same uh, timetable. Yeah, I don't have the ability to change my aim, though. The, I think it's just showing us the buttons at the moment. Well, so. it's telling me to fire, so I don't have any aim. I'm just pulling the trigger. No. Nope. Okay, well, that was the ball. <laughs> oh, we're going to chuck him out of the airlock anyway, so that's fine. Let's just kick him. <laughs> out he goes. Yeah, it's just running as it, this is this is a really nice little quick tutorial actually what it looks like. Yeah. Oh well, there you go. We spaced him. I mean, that's a humane way to go. <laughs> I think I'd rather have been shot in the head myself. <laughs> yeah. How long would you be alive for in the vacuum of space? A bit long enough to know it was happening, I assume. Well, I mean, you know, while you're uh, while every fluid in you boils <laughs> boils in the vacuum that you're in. <laughs> I don't know. Um, hmm. <laughs> I mean, there was that. Um, the spaceship's in trouble, isn't it? There was that NASA guy who. Um, no, there who he had is. a space spa spacesuit fail on him in. Um, fail on him in um, in a vacuum, and he said that there was this um, taste of um, taste of metal on his tongue. So I imagine there would be. To be fair. Uh, L2, R2, oh, okay, monkey in a long way. Yeah, you're right, this is actually quite a nice in game tutorial. I'm sure this. I've basically just got to get to the. Um... And, and, and this demonstrates why windows on a spaceship are a bad idea, and having windows on the bridge of your spaceship are an even crazier idea. Yes. <laughs> well, never mind. Let me shoot things now. I, I know I can move. Shit. Your mom survived. Oh, I, I don't know. It's barely showing us what to do. Oh, you yeah, have to hold it. Yeah, we could have toggled that on in the uh, menu oh. and crouch, but we have to hold it. All right, let me go over there. Yeah, we were. We did spend a few minutes in the menu before we started here. playing this uh, nice. on these. Oh. Show me different uh, methods for of having our layout used. Yeah, some some of some of us are. What? Can I shoot this guy? No, I tried. Step aside, Doc. I'll deal with it my way. Actually, so is a friendly fire. Oh, hang on, no, I didn't actually. I tell a lie. I just moved. I aimed on him, and it didn't give me any other. Sort of uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to shoot. Oh, it's supposed oh, to you shoot gotta shoot the, uh, the screen. Which one of you yeah. shitheads left an over grenade on the bounty hunter? We're compromised here. It's a good way of unlocking the unlocking the door, it. isn't it? I'll be right up. I don't like the run button being X. Left on this ship? That's a bit uncomfortable. Nope. No. Well, I keep crouching. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's what I I would like. I would like the um. Oh, having said that, it is, it is, it's, it's been on a few other games, and so it's just it's nice to... Uh, he got he got to the lift clearly before me. Why didn't he push the button? Why didn't I have to push the button? Chain what, of what, command. What, 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 so, well, I mean, like, you know, Cyclops and uh, Cyclops and Drinking Boy. I mean... Attention, everybody. I'm watching the, uh, the cutscene. I was following That's leads on Confederate supply liners. Came out of warp and mm -hmm. was just beyond there. I'm just there. having a chat. We'll have a chat. It's quite, it's quite pleasing, isn't it? I'm getting us out of here. Yes. Warping to a dark so matter far. field. I'd try and lay low until. Try shooting us in the wings, but I don't want to rush it along too much. That's the Confederation's General Serrano will be on board. No. So I'm guessing this is all Christmas being remastered early, because the, the textures are absolutely piece of shit out yeah, there. They, they definitely are up there. I mean, this can't be. There's no way this is 
2011 Nice tattoo on the, uh, on the guy in the uh, chair. I mean, all he's missing is a Christopher Lloyd beard and the little animal that will fall off and die uh, when the gunner accidentally shoots the wrong thing. This. I will not die for your revenge, Gray. Our revenge. Ulysses wants to open a communication chair. As much of a fan of sci-fi as I am. I, it's, it's quite recently when I've been watching things that I've been thinking I would actually probably be really claustrophobic if I was on a spaceship. Now's the time. No takers. Yeah, I would, I think it would be awful to know that you were just surrounded by nothing, by Bucky. <laughs> and and basically, you know, anything in that thin skin around you will kill you. Yeah. Uh, you know, will will end you. Oh, we're flying ships now. Ah, oh, I didn't get oh, all the nice. Turrets. I'm rubbish. Oh, nice. Oh, am I supposed to be aiming pass? at something? I didn't get the gun. Oh well, I don't know what I'm aiming at. I suppose I'm aiming at the little red things that are shooting at me, right? That's what I was trying for. I got two out of three, I think. I got two out of three and an engine by the look of it. Alright, can we come can we come can we come can we come by and have another go? Yeah, we will we do swim past again. Ahead by the sound of it. Oh no, cracked glass, that can't be good. Well, that's alright. I don't want to end this. This campaign might be over long before I start. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think, I think that's normal. I think we're supposed to be heading that way. Starting off with the worst scenario. Okay. Just thinning Fine. out the crew. We were all dead men anyway. Uh, okay, so the plan, I believe, is going to be ramming speed. To do this one last thing. Oh, just okay. had to make sure we didn't go to hell. We're going for, uh, we're going for an E, an E ramming. That's nice. <laughs> Take every Either that or we're just about to escape. I'm not sure. The sudden plunge in the sullen swell. Ten fathoms deep. Okay. On the road to hell. I'm sorry, I'll try not, I think I might be a couple of seconds ahead, so I'll try not to make too many comments in case. Uh, yeah, I think you are, but it's uh, you're uh, it's I'm enjoying the um, the very poetic the very poetic uh, nature of his uh, of his little rant there. It was very um, Captain Ahab, so it was Captain Ahab, wasn't it? Oh, that's, that's really, lovely. That was very pretty, yeah. Oh, I mean, why did we just do that to start with? Well, yeah, everything was already falling apart. I wasn't going to get to the end today. Okay, so... All right, I've reached a check... I've reached a checkpoint, and I jump back in time. Now we have... We're at least on a mission as soon as you... Uh, as soon as you zoom in on the character. We are soldiers, not assassins. We all get to start. I have to start. Your fancy new gravity boots make assassination oh. fun, Doc. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's like fun. Nothing like fun, fun assassination. <laughs> this is, um, I mean, actually really enjoying the, uh, this, this location. The idea of walking down a building vertically is, is something I haven't really seen before. It's interesting. Oh, I know where I'm supposed to go. Uh, you should see a prompt for a circle command. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I went in the right direction and then didn't see it. Uh, they're, 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 they're not, they're not, um, they're not, uh, not obvious enough. <laughs> yeah, big sparkly boots pumping your way down the uh, kind of money Novak has. It's really different. I, I mean, I've seen um, like abseiling down buildings and stuff like that. Uh, but this is um, this mental uh, screen. Have you breached yet? I'm about to. Um, why? Why are these guys? They get there first, and yet I have to do all the work. I know. I don't understand. The pattern. Okay, so I suppose kill him. Yep. At the moment, it's a bit 
Dance Dance Revolution, you know, it's not actually asking me to aim for things. So it's just saying, just on that computer. The rest. Watch the clock. So hopefully I that's going to change way. in a minute. Could be worse, Wins could be Battlefield. Um, anyway. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I told you to rig these to blow, not no, check your I mean, goddamn it's email. Still walking, it's still hand-holding, it's walking us through. I mean, that's the tutorial of it. We're learning the... These what am guys. I looking at? Because these are the Every same guys that are on the bridge. Done. So... But it's doing it with, uh, It's people. not too clunky of a... Just finished an article of a, a story, really. it's, it's giving us story, but Get giving us things to do as we go, which I can sort of deal with, but, you know, that I don't like... I, I mean... The only thing is, maybe in a, on a harder difficulty level, we would have been in control of targeting as we Shut came the through the window. Oh, so, no, um, yeah, no, it's possible that because we're on normal mode, then there's a little bit like, don't worry, civilians. you won't miss, just pull the trigger when you're prompted, everything will be alright. <laughs> yeah. You can close your eyes now. We'll get extra yeah. points case. You told like us the targets were gun That's quite a Nazi. I don't know if you've Slave seen the hologram yet. It's quite a Nazi. Murderers. It is, yeah. It's very sort of... Um, it's sort of the uh, that sort of austere sort of... Um, I don't think we're the good guys. No. But it's got it's got a lot <laughs> it's got a lot of a good reference. It's got a lot of um, exactly American um, iconography on it, stars and things that makes me think this is this is Trump's want to be future. I think he's um, he sort of he would like to head towards that kind of uh, that kind of uniform. Hmm. Yes, yeah, sort of stormtrooper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's come on, just let me shoot some people now. I'm, I'm all good, I know what the buttons do. Shoot her! Hey man, what the fuck? Sorry, yeah, there is that. That was a giant group decision you just made for us. Okay, here we go. Shooting is fun. I'm still, uh... Okay, I am behind you then, that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, not used oh to the reload yet God. because I just kicked to reload, which made me look mental. Oh, heads explode! Get up close and shoot someone if you get the chance. That head just explode. Like, like come off, explode, you know? <laughs> like full decapitation explosion. <laughs> Oh, I think I might have lost it for us because I went too far away from it. Oh no. Come on, Craig! You let me do all the killing! I don't think you can. I don't think you can lose it in this kind of mode. I'm uh, I'm glad there's no friendly fire uh, issues because I just um Yeah, me too. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> I just opened up on one of the guys. My my aim is really horrible. Can I um can I knife these guys? Why can't I knife? Is there a melee? I didn't I didn't find one. Oh, I may have just died. I hope you're fine. Oh no, cut away scene. Okay. Well, wow. I've gone back to the present day now. You're famous where I come yeah. from. You're gonna make me famous killing you. Tell me where to go and I can shoot. I shot about half a dozen people. That just seems... Run, kid! Get to the elevator! Go down and get to the car! No. But then there's a quite a lot of story. I mean, yeah, I, I think I can forgive it because there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of story. Oh, I'm having flashbacks of a helicopter that's just crashed after a nuclear weapon has detonated. I'm not carrying. You see that? Escape pods from Ulysses. Yeah, I see him crashing down. What about it? It doesn't matter, man. Get your head out of your ass. I need your help here. Go get to Ishii. Where the hell is Ishii? Oh, we just got the steps. He's over there. We'll go with the burnt face. Oh, dear God. Yes, I'm the lift operator. Ishii. Ishii. Let's shoot him. I mean, you know, he's obviously going to die anyway. Let's shoot him. We're, yeah. not, we're not the good guys here. Get out of it. Quickly. Get into the infirmary. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Just go. 
Okay, so he's going to carry him. So how do I get off the ship? Come on. Man, you know, I'm always the first one here. And like, you know, now now, now nobody, now button options is not done. This is like, come on. Let's just shoot Ishii. We don't need him. There's three of us. Mm -hmm. After just learning, both of us just learning that we, we jumped in front of him to save his life years ago. Now we're like, yeah, leave him. Oh, well, you know, he, he had his chance. <laughs> How many times are we going to save this guy? <laughs> Survival of the fittest and all that. Have I got to be the doctor as well? Oh, I've got to do everything. Okay, okay. Come on, move out of the way if I'm using this machine. I need you to fix it, Doc. All those cyber patch jobs you did on the field. Oh. I think we are the doctor. I think we're the doctor. Look at him, Craig. No, we've got to go get the medic to the machine. Please try. He'd do it for any one of us. Maybe. Maybe I could, but I'd need a charge fusion cell to power the bio. Oh, been out of them for months, Doc. Damn it! Oh, things to shoot. Excellent. Ulysses escape capsules. A few jettisons. Engines will have cells. Well, yes, sir. They're human. Our boy's time is short. Let's keep them alive. Let's go right there. Let's go ahead. If you shoot the head off something, generally it will die. I want to be candid with you, Chief. I do like the uh, the weird little zigzagging that we're doing all the time. Yeah. Oh, I like the slide. Oh, I like the power slide. Oh, I haven't done that yet. Let's try that. How do you do that? Oh, yeah. X, while you're running. Oh, perfect twice. Okay. These guys are going to this. I have a horrible shot. Me too. I'm glad it's not just me. I'm really stressed. It's like my own personal rabbits, but it's awesome. Rainbows. Shameful display in a tutorial level. Come on, the other exit. The other exit. Right, so now we're going to slide through like here. Oh, right. I'm, over. Right. <laughs> I'm a little bit inept. So am I. I mean, I'm a bit. There is an auto aim on which I'm not particularly keen on. It's saving my ass quite a lot. <laughs> oh, these things don't they drop. You've got to shoot them in the head. Shoot him in the head. No, oh, you're right. They don't. This they is don't. a terrible way the, to The dual wielding move. green guns are. Um, on, I'm not going to take them over on us. In fact, just shooting them in the head doesn't. Work. No, we'll never work out what melee is. No, I don't know if we've got one. If we have, it's not been introduced to me in this game so far. Oh god, we're going green boy. Yeah, my, my gun sort of goes, my gun goes high. My gun goes high all the time. I wonder if the auto aim is trying to knock off the heads. And I'm countering it. It might be I'm fighting the auto aim. I think I'm doing the same. Because if you just tap the, the L2 R2, then it's going to keep re aiming on the head. <laughs> okay. Give that a go in a minute. Oh yeah, you just don't fight it. <laughs> yeah, don't fight it. The auto aim will do all the work for you, <laughs> which is not necessarily a good thing. I think. Oh no, it, 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 it's not. It's not totally auto aim, but if there's like multiple targets, you do have to select a target before it will um, before it will lock. Um, I'm also loving the infinite ammunition. The, the infinite amount of ammunition. I'm liking squad. that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm liking. I had this um, I don't know. I think it's just that we haven't been introduced to um, some carrying limits and things like that yet. So. Oh, bleach. Huh. Seems to be somebody. Some Somebody brought a Final vehicle. Echo. Yeah. Elite. Don't look too elite now. How can you make yourself yeah, useful? Pop Rumors were true. Final Pretty Echo are using leashes. I thought instinct moderated weapons uh, were out. Leash is yeah, probably the melee. It's like a, uh, without spoiling too much, it's like a sort of energy whip by the look of it. Yeah, I've just picked one up. Uh, yeah, you can drag people closer to you. Why you'd want to do that when they're already running at you anyway? Oh, no, Damn. You, can, you can drag him. I can yeah, actually feel this thing. Talking to me. 
Oh, super boss, real happy for you. Now, can you make yourself useful? And pop open and the hood on this yep, pod. the game has just introduced me to the idea of featuring people. Hot yep. damn. We had to open the, uh, we had to use it to open up the cargo container. Oh, anyway, so, yeah. Thanks. I'm just a waterhead. I forgot why I done marched out here. So I, I say we get the energy cell back to the. Um, I say we get the energy cell back to the infirmary, and then uh, yes. we uh, we we do a little bit of. Um, we do a little bit of multiplayer. Yeah, I think so. The leash is quite nice. I quite like the leash. The leash is good it's fun. great for dragon guys and pulling them to Oh yeah, that's really, that's really quite horrific. Oh, take the cover. Well, I, I didn't realise I was being hit. <laughs> where where, yeah, where is the cover? <laughs> I don't know where I'm supposed to be. You die, God. Let's go for it. Oh yeah, you just gonna half half. Oh yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I, I can see it. it's got a little bit of um. A little bit of the two of uh, the, 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 not, not the two of us. Uh, what was that doing? Um, way out. No. Um, army of one. Army of two. Army of army of two. Yeah. It's got a little bit of that going on in it. At the moment. Honestly, just leash everybody that you can. Oh yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, it means they come out in slow motion well. and hover in midair for a bit while you can shoot them. Blazing force. <laughs> I'm being told to take cover because I'm injured. Yeah, I, I, I didn't work out where cover was for a second. I just went back to where the other guy was. Oh, that's all right. I'm just, um, I just killed the guy that was shooting at me and kept on going. <laughs> He's some kind of zombie. She's lucky I got so much love for him. Not many other folks I do this for. Maybe they're sort of semi-evolved. I have no idea where I'm going now. Right, I have so I'm, I'm about to head back to the infirmary. Ah. I've arrived at the infirmary. Oh, you're already there? Oh, you got there quick. Yep, I'm waiting for Bob to come and bring the energy cell because I think hope, I'm hoping Bob's got the energy cell because I didn't pick it up. Yep, he's got it. That's good. Okay, so I'm in the infirmary as well. So that was good because you overturned the answer at the end, which is brilliant. Um, so I just, are we calling? Just kept on going. Uh, we're calling it for this part. We're going away and play some I, multiplayer I, and. Um, I say let's let, let, let's let's yeah let's um let's, dead, boy. Get out. let's knock it on the head. We've got to get out apparently. Uh, let's let the uh, the actual uh, infirmary do its cooking, and um, it we out. will be coming back in a moment, uh, and we'll let you know what we think after we've done a little bit of multiplayer. Yeah, see you in a second. So we've uh, played the campaign for a bit and uh, we've had some fun with the multiplayer. Uh, so 3T, what do you think about the playability of Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition? It's, um, it is very playable. Um, I, one of my comments while we were playing to you was that it felt like I should have been pumping 50p pieces into the PlayStation. It really is a proper arcade shooter. It doesn't care. It's just saying, here are some things to shoot. Uh, here is a gun to shoot them with. Get on with it. And um, yeah, for that, I can't fault it. It's really pick up and play. You don't really need to, presumably, you know, you don't need to go through the campaign. Multiplayer is available straight away. So you could quite happily just go through. I mean, we've played, the mode that we've played at least is sort of a, a survival wave mode. I'm assuming there are other versions that you can play as well, but it's. Um, yeah, it's it's very very playable. I'll give you. Uh, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Probably for the first uh, comment. What about you? For me, for me, playability. It, it's a it's a game of two halves. Um, the the campaign. I did felt. I, I did feel that I was being handheld. But I'm guessing as the campaign goes further, the handholding comes up. And also, we were playing on a super hard level. No. I did felt. I did feel that I, I, it, it was. Um, 
almost impossible to die in the campaign. But then, um, like I said, we were still in tutorial mode for the most part. We were just trying to get to the multiplayer. Multiplayer, though, just leaves you to it. Do what you like, go where you want, you know, uh, explore, find new and interesting ways of eliminating the enemy. I mean, that is uh, the, the, the playability factor there. And I like the fact that it's a co-op. I yeah. like the co-op. I, I would have liked to have. I would like to see a like a one-on-one -on -one mode. Mm. Um, but I don't think this game. I don't think this is the game for it because this is this is um, not that sort of game. You are there to support your teammates, and that's what, that's what the, um, the the campaign was sort of showing us as well a little bit. That well, you're there. You're all one team, so to come at it from another way. I mean, it's. Um, it's 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 something that you you can just yeah you, if you play the a third the first person shooter before sorry you are not going to be lost if you have ever played anything that where you're looking down the rails of a gun you're going to be pretty familiar you're going to be in 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 territory that you're is not going to be uncomfortable some of the button layouts are slightly different but you do get used to it i mean you'll see in our video um footage there that there's a lot of me crouching when I need to be running. Running's a little bit uncomfortable, but it's um, you're not going to be lost. If it was your first first-person shooter, it might take a bit of getting used to. But if you've done a lot of it, then it's um, it's it's not a struggle to play. I would say also if you are a bit of a camper in first-person <laughs> shooters, not your game. it's probably not the game for you. This is a runner, a runner and gunner. And yeah, I mean the button layout somewhat interesting. I went to melee someone by pushing down on the uh, the R3 uh, and uh, charged my weapon to some kind of superpower, and then wasted the shot. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean it just takes. But then, but then that's the same as any any game. You kind of, I suppose, you just got to get used to the, uh, the the slight control, you know, control configuration. But uh, yeah, I spent a little bit of time crouching instead of running and. A little bit of time kicking instead of doing other things, and you know. <laughs> well, it was quite but, uh, shameful, uh, really, that we were we were talking about. Well, there's no melee, there's no melee, and the tutorial in the campaign told us to kick things. And so, once you work out that kick is your melee, it's a lot more fun. <laughs> mm, I, I think I, I, I think that uh, in the gameplay, um, it, depending on depending on what actually makes it into the actual video, uh, there is a. A moment where I suddenly realised I think it was you that said you can kick them and from that point on the rest of the rest <laughs> of the footage is just me kicking them <laughs> and getting rewarded for it too the game lot the game wants you to do a different variety of things to dispatch the enemy so it will well, give you points for inventiveness which which is I think where the uh, the introductions uh, sign uh, crash humour definitely I mean the rudeness in there is and it you know, if you shoot them, shoot them in the groin area, the guys actually grab their crotch and bend over and things like that. And I like the fact we're also shooting humans, human, humanoid things. But it does say um, reward, rewarding points um, uh, for performing increasingly ludicrous and creative kills. Yep. So the clue is in, is in the blurb we read at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is. To be fair, yes, I, I did read it uh, somewhat uh, half-heartedly. I think I wasn't really paying attention to the words I was saying, but. Uh, and it makes a lot of sense when you look back. So I didn't see any hidden catches. Um, I mean, obviously, there's a, there are enough maps. I forget exactly how many maps. Somewhere between five and ten maps. Yeah. Um, Initially, I didn't see any. I didn't see any... No, it's, it's not going to make you download anything else. It's not going to uh, say, you know, here's here's some more content. Here's something that you can pay for. Um, I mean, it's a game from 2011, so they clearly have revamped it, rejigged it, and just put it back out. And back then, I think it was it was more of a uh, it was a real novelty to pay to play. You know, we're talking seven years ago. Now everything is ruined by pay to play and loot crates. Whereas that, this is a, from a, a slightly more pure gaming era, perhaps. I think I def definitely think so. I mean, it, it was like you know, there was no. Oh, you have to unlock this, and you know you have to spend, uh, you know, uh, was it about six months or is it nine months now? Three T uh, <laughs> visiting an Irishman in the back of an aeroplane to uh, try and get un one camo unlocked to get one gun by uh, throwing the wheels of uh, wheels of loot yeah. Um None of that, which was nice. Uh, you know, basically you were given 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 what you were given, and good luck and. Uh, 
you know, try not to die. An- another uh, novelty. Try to kill them in interesting ways. Playability-wise, mm. another novelty is that uh, here's your multiplayer screen, not to harp on, but here's your multiplayer screen. Uh, we did struggle for a bit because we were both in the multiplayer screen um, and it wouldn't let me join, but from as long as one of you is in the main menu and the other one invites them, uh, you're absolutely fine, the invite will work. And just literally press a button to invite, press a button to, to join, away you go. Mm. Like, that is all you want. And again, I think that comes from probably, maybe they haven't tinkered with the menu screen from, from you know, the 2011 version. It is clearly just designed to pick up, play for a bit, go away again. But you notice that with the, with the re- remastered uh, Call of Duty, it's like ding, ding, done, done. There's no yeah. dancing about trying to work out how to create, um, create a group. I mean, they said the only problem we had is that uh, we were both in effectively a, a match trying to pull the other one from one match and yeah that was a little bit of a fail but we we worked up we worked we, we troubleshot it we went round it we solved the problem so, well um, we didn't have to google um, anything which is always a plus no or we'll play 47 minutes of campaign. <laughs> um so um and then we failed anyway um but uh, i would say fun fun factor for me very high Fun oh, fact that is, is up there. Uh, I mean, that is it's one of one, one of the one of the more fun games I've played this year. Um, I don't know if it's the best game. Uh, that's something we'll have to look at maybe, uh, at the end of December. Uh, definitely up there. Uh, definitely something. That, but I had fun there. I was I was enjoying it. How 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 that fun continues going forward. Uh, when I need 24 gigs of storage space, we will see. Uh, but I don't think that it will get eliminated. I don't think it's going to be high on my list of... Um, of you know, I don't think it will be the first one to be removed from the dashboard, put it that way. No. It plays into our wheelhouse, definitely. We are, we are very much first-person shooter players first. Um, but... Uh, I, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's just purely oh good uh, a pick up and play first person shooter. It genuinely is a lot of fun, uh, and I, I, like I say, it, it's going to stay on my dashboard for the time being um, because I think we'll definitely get a few more a few more goes out of it to see how well it uh, holds up long term. Well, I mean, just just going going through the dashboard. I mean, I, um, Friday the Thirteenth. I don't think it's going to get eliminated very t- any time soon. I've still got XCOM Two. I'm still enjoying that. Trackmania Turbo still frustrating the living daylights out of me. Um, so um, yeah, I've got quite a few that that I would think about getting rid of before that uh, and before those. So anyway, yeah, always, get, always get a bigger hard drive. Um, something to uh, something so, to come back to for uh, the uh, the end of your show, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, we were talking about this. I'm going to put you on the spot because I haven't got an answer, and I know you probably yeah. haven't either. What games would you compare this to? What is it similar to that you've played? Well, that's the thing, struggling my way through. I mean, obviously, it's a first-person shooter, um, and there were elements of, uh, of the modern warfare. Uh, the, 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 the multiplayer had elements of the modern warfare where you were like fighting the terrorists. I want to say Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3, that's right. Modern survival. Warfare 3. Yeah, yeah. That's survival mode had that sort of like where you're fighting waves and waves and waves of enemies, which was quite good fun, and I quite liked that. But it also had an element of Army 2, which was a game that we played back on PlayStation 3 for long. Yeah. Uh, because, because you are cooperating with um, up to four people in the multiplayer. Um, campaign... Campaign, it's just a first-person campaign, really. Um, uh, as much as uh, I get annoyed with the, um, with the prompts being too big, I, I think the prompts were so big here I didn't see some of them while we were playing through. Because <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> oh, there is. Oh, right, there it is. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it, it's a first-person, it's a first-person cooperative game. You know? It's very cooperative. I think that's for me. The campaign. Well, I'm going I'm to. You know, go through the campaign because I like going through campaigns, and you know, picked up some trophies along the way. Uh, like, yeah, trophies, and there's some nice <laughs> toys. Um, but it, it, it is. Uh, it, it's got a Call of Duty feel to it, but it also has uh, it also has a battlefield uh, battlefield vibe to it. An Army of Two sort of vibe is in there. Um, 
And there was a little bit of destiny for as much as I've ragged on <laughs> destiny purely because I, 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 I did. I, it, destiny has been one of the games that has disappointed me, I think, this year. Uh, with the with the free games, I mean, not that you can be disappointed with the free game. It, it, it is a game that it, it disappointed me in in many ways. But there was an element of of, of destiny in there. Um, I didn't like the hand holding that I was getting, but again, I think that's probably a setting thing. But then you get that in a lot of a lot of games. But yeah, I, it's very difficult. I, I don't know. What do you What do you think? Well, okay, what I mean, it clearly isn't. It, it clearly isn't. Um, uh, a third person game it clearly isn't uh, a murder mystery game it clearly <laughs> isn't um, uh, some kind of survival horror game um, so <laughs> what, what, what do you think it is what is it like it is like um, being 12 again going to the seaside arcades and just chucking money into uh, <laughs> into a little a gun game except for much better looking and uh, Free in this case, I don't know. It's it it's it's got a lot of similarity to the first person shooters that we played, but it's not got the po faced, um, you know, war is hell attitude. It's got the, you know, get up grunts and let's kick some zombie whatever these guys are and and have a laugh. So it's um, uh, there is a, you, you mentioned Battlefield. I mean Battlefield Bad Company. I seem to remember had a bit of a sense of humour to it, but but this is this is purely just. It's just an excuse to, to have, for the voiceover guys to have recorded some insults uh, and for designers to create some, some interesting zombie Mad Max type enemies to just destroy I mean, en masse. There is a bit of maybe Duke, think, thinking about going back, there's a bit of, there's a bit of um, Duke Nukem in there. Yeah, yeah, and definitely. And there's a bit of, um, uh, that sort of suddenly popped into my mind. And there's also a little bit of Doom. Uh, yeah, there's th running around, running around, running around those spaceships initially, um, because I just set off to go where I wanted to go, and I got a little bit lost. There is that sort of claustrophobic doom. Yeah. I don't mean probably the well, the, not the original doom, but you know the, the sort of like doom two and things like that. And so there was a like, oh, doom in there. Yeah. And I, I, I always forget about doom. I always forget about doom and doom and doom and they are. I mean, they were the first networking games. And also, it's a bit of Counter-Strike in there. If I think about it, a little bit of Counter-Strike um, as well. So, yeah, it, it is, it, it's, it's a shame. It's a game, a game I've missed. I missed it in 2011. Missed it last year when, uh, when, when it got, like, you know, initially released for uh, PS4, Xbox, and uh, PC. Um, don't know why it's been off my radar, because um, it's fun, <laughs> you know? So, um, I think... So, I mean, I was, I was going to say I was that. Gonna say, I, 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 well, I was going to say, at the end of the day, I, I think I think it was worth my download time um, and the space. I'm quite happy to have 24 uh, gigabytes of this game sitting on my hard drive. Um, so I think it was worth the download. What about you? Uh, that, that led us nicely onto that, really. Yeah, it does. It, it's worth it. It downloaded pretty quickly, saying that I started it and left it overnight. Um, and didn't really even notice it, but I get the impression it would have gone quite quickly anyway. It's not a huge game space-wise. It's worth it. Um, yeah, get it, get it uh, downloaded if you've if you've got the space. I would uh, I would say you know you're not going to rush to get rid of it if if you are a first-person shooter fan. Um, I am going to say though, just to move on to our 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 final talking point as ever, that I don't think I would have paid for it. I wouldn't have paid full price for it. Um, no, I don't. I, I would agree. I don't think I would have played. I don't. I mean, I would have picked it up maybe as a second-hand game. I don't yes. think I would have bought it as a purely because. Um, well, I mean, who knows? That might change after uh, after going. I mean, if the camp if the campaign is stunning, because if, I mean, campaigns are getting rarer and rarer and rarer. Yeah, true. Uh, so um, and, and shorter and shorter and shorter. Um, so um, yeah, I mean, it depends on the campaign, but I definitely would have picked it up second hand. Definitely wouldn't have probably. Have been second hand. All oh, right. Um, okay. Well, then, in, because we both we've enjoyed it, we've both said we would pick it up second hand. What is the most you would pay for it? There's another way of to, to saying that question. I'd probably say. Well, I mean, I'm going to work in euros, so mm -hmm. I'd probably say yeah, about tw tw twenty nine pounds or about uh, maybe. Uh, 35 euros somewhere in there I think that would be the upper limit um, really and uh, I'd probably be looking for one with a damaged case to see if I could knock 20 off that 
I I think the most I would realistically pay, as much fun as I've had with it, is probably fifteen pounds. Yeah. So you're um, looking for one with a damaged case like me then? Uh, no, not necessarily. I mean, I don't know. I think uh, you're looking in the the CEXs, uh, the uh, you know, I don't know if the game even exists anymore. I, I haven't seen one recently, but uh, yeah, the the second hand uh, used game market of the UK, uh, twelve to fifteen pounds is as much as I would go for it because. Yeah, as much fun as it is, I do think it is just a pick up, uh, play for a bit and put down again game. And that's not a bad thing, but uh, I don't think I'd get lost no, in it. No, no I, I mean, I, I say, like I said, I think it's worth it's, it's worth the time, worth the download. There were no hidden extras, there was no start the game up and spend uh, you know, another evening patching the game. Um, and like I said, I think the top, my top end price would be 29, 29 pounds. I prefer to get it at your price. But, um, you know, um, definitely one that I'm glad is in my library now. So you know, that's that, that's the way I'm looking at it. I think the important thing is there is we both would have paid for it and we're both happy to have it. So, yeah, uh, and um, um, now is the time to remind everybody, uh, as the point of the show, that uh, you don't have to pay any extra for it. So uh, go and get it while you can if you are a PS Plus member. Uh, download it for November because it's worth having. And that said, this is Mike Papa Foxtrot. And this is 3T, and we were looking at Bulletstorm, which is currently freeloadable from the PlayStation Network for November 2018.